Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse. Welcome back. Happy Monday. It's December 14th. Christmas is approaching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend consistent with the word. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. And that's Psalm. When we neglect scripture and don't build it on our everyday lives, we can be all too easily deceived by the enemy. But the better we know God's word, the more readily we will be able to identify our Heavenly Father's voice over the enemy's lies. Always remember, Satan's goal is to turn you away from the Lord's will and service. He seeks to tempt, discourage, and render you ineffective through his lies. Therefore, he will accuse you in ways that are inconsistent with the distort the word of God. For example, if you confess your sins, you're not involved in any disobedience, and you still feel guilty and condemned, you are most likely believing the enemy's lies and living with false guilt, though your Savior has cleansed you from all your unrighteousness. This is why it's so important for you to be firmly grounded in the truth. Friend, whatever you need, advice on a relationship, help with finances, directions about a job, the Bible will offer you godly guidance. God will never tell you anything that violates the principles of Scripture. Father, thank you for the word and the light it provides when my way is dark. Amen. In his presence, meditate on his word. So I'm actually writing about this now, discerning God's voice, which is very hard. I know we say, oh, well, you know, God spoke to me or I had a word from God or he spoke to my spirit. And other people are like, well, you know, God doesn't speak to me, but God speaks to all of us. The difference is that some of us know how to sort of interpret that and some of us get confused and say it's the enemy. What you have to do is when someone gives you advice, when you have these thoughts, when you hear these voices, whatever, right? You feel something in your spirit. You have to test every spirit, right? I think it's actually John that says that. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but you need to test every spirit. You need to make sure that, that what you're hearing or what you think you're hearing or what you're being influenced by is really God and not the enemy and not your own sort of self-doubt, your insecurities. There are so many things, world, the world, right, influence influences us. And the way you sort of discern God's voice is by building a relationship, of course, but understanding scripture and taking a moment. So when you have this sort of this feeling where you feel like God's speaking to your spirit, you have to test that and say, okay, does that line up with scripture? Does this line up with God's word, his promises? Is this, you know, is it sort of self-motivating? Is this something that, you know, is really within me that's really to, to fulfill an insecurity like we always talk about? You have to really test that out before you could say God spoke to me or this is what God is calling me to do. And the way you do that is by building a relationship. But I can tell you from experience, the enemy, right, the insecurity is always much louder than God's small, still voice. That is sort of the first thing that you can do. And then the second easiest thing is line it up with Scripture. If it's not in the Bible and if it's not God's Word and it's just coming from you, then you can, I can guarantee that that's not from God. So if you want more information, I can actually email you what I have on discerning God's voice. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire and evangelize the words and actions. God bless you.